Hey guys, thanks for watching. I am back with another frugal living experiment video. I know it's been a really long time since I posted anything and honestly it's partly because I've just been kind of ashamed and I've really gotten off track and I didn't want to hold or I wasn't ready to hold myself accountable. So I'm just here to kind of talk about my progress, what happened, um, kind of I reached a plateau and you know what I'm doing to turn that back around and get back on path on the path. And, you know, by no means am I trying to completely drastically change and be, you know, the most frugal, cheap person in America. <laughs> I'm just trying to do what makes sense for my family, um, what I think is the right thing to do. So, you know, with that disclaimer, I will begin with my update. So what happened? What happened? Well, when I suppose I last made a video, I was doing very well. I was doing meal planning, as you probably saw, um, you know, my grocery, talking about, you know, how to save money in groceries. I was doing very well with meal planning. I was writing things down, very key. Um, I was keeping to the list of the grocery store. I was planning ahead for meals. And um, that was something that just kind of, I flew, I don't know, fell off the bang bandwagon with that. Um, <clears throat> kind of as I have been reconfiguring you know the ways in which that we we eat i've always been somebody that i knew that i wanted to eat healthier i knew i wanted to have you know more organic foods in my diet and really that's become a high priority to me for my family um is to eat organic as much as possible and also to eat gmo free um, as much as possible and i know this is going to be a process and this has been a process and you know we are converting over to those types of foods um, so it kind of just threw me off um, that's part of it and also the other part is just plain old laziness I just kind of got out of the habit of it and as much as it really isn't very hard to do um, it just became something that was like a task that I didn't want to deal with and it ended up costing us a lot of money um, because I was just buying things and thinking oh well you know I think I might make this this and this this week um, no, it doesn't work for me like that. I have to write things down. I have to stick to the meal plans. Otherwise, um, things just go off the rail. Um, so that's something that I'm getting back to doing. And also shopping at more than one grocery store. As you can imagine, with a toddler, it is very difficult to grocery shop. And that's kind of part of it as well. And, you know, might be making excuses, but that's the truth. It's hard to shop with a toddler. Um, and I'd only been going to Target because I could get everything all in one stop. Um, but Target is a really great deal for some things, but it's not the best for others. So I have been going back to grocery shopping at several places and I do feel like I'm getting back on track. I'm sticking to my list. I've been meal planning. Um, part of the meal planning too has been very different for me. We are eating much less meat than we previously were because of the cost of meat. And it's not because we're, you know, trying to be vegetarian or vegan or anything like that, but simply the cost is just very expensive for quality grass fed and antibiotic free and all that it's just it is very expensive we are looking into options um as far as um possibly getting a kind of a bulk order of meat and buying it from local farms but that's something that we're looking into down the road so on to you know other things that have kind of thrown up i've gotten off track and i've been thrown off track <laughs> with a lot of things um with as far as spending i was doing very well with eliminating almost completely my extra spending with with the exception of you know a few things here and there i was doing very well um and in fact i think that i was really depriving myself and it doesn't mean that i should go out and go hog wild at the stores even at the thrift stores while i am saving money there it doesn't mean i need to do that but i think depriving myself and then moving, we moved and I wanted to get home decor things that we previously did not have because we just didn't have, um, we had such a tiny space that we were sharing. Um, I wanted to make my home feel comfortable and warm as, you know, you, you would, um, at least most people would. <laughs> and I kind of went crazy because I was depriving myself. I kind of just, yeah, I went hog wild and I couldn't stop. <laughs> and... I've started to kind of notice that I need to find balance and that's the key to everything in life, right? You need to have balance. So I know that it's acceptable for me to go shopping, um, you know, with a certain budget and just sticking to the budget or <clears throat> 
excuse me, something I've been doing is kind of working based off of a project management book, things that are important to me, like, okay, if I want to refinish my table and I want to buy new drapes or curtains, then that means that I'm not going to be buying myself a new shirt or I'm not going to be um, going to the movie or going to dinner. I'm going to movie. I don't know why I use that. I never go to movies anymore with a kid. <laughs> but, you know, things that I just have to prioritize and I have to find a balance. And I think I'm doing pretty well on that. So that's what's going on or that's what has been going on with, you know, my spending um, habits and also with accumulating debt. Um, that was something that was really important to me. Um, I previously really royally screwed up my credit history um, when I was younger and it was important to me to not to accumulate too much debt and something that I have been working on is you know paying that down and I found a really great um, solution for me so far um, in paying off the debt and not paying interest on you know my credit card debt. I do not have a ton of credit card debt. I've done really well with keeping that pretty low but I even the debt that I do have I want to completely eliminate. So I have been working on that. I've switched over to a um, I switched over to a new card where you can switch your credit card balance from another credit card company to this credit card company and they will do zero APR for a limited amount of time so that you can you know pay that debt off with zero interest. So that is something that is a goal for me and I have a goal set for me to pay that off by this time. Um, so I do not have to pay any more debt or any more interest and I don't have any more credit card debt. Um, some things that we have done that I'm really happy, gold stars for us, is that we have been able to pay off some really major purchases, cars, and um, also I have been doing um, some other things that have been helping, like making my own cleaning solution, and I actually started doing that quite a while ago, and I'm really happy that I started and I've seen tons of YouTube videos and honestly that's where I've gotten a lot of these really wonderful recipes and ideas um, and I will put some channels down below or videos specifically down below that have been really helpful to me most of them are do it on a dime I'm sure you know about her she's got a pretty big channel she's wonderful um, I think Catherine is her name but she's really got some wonderful tips on her channel so check her out um, a couple other people um, and I will try to find the videos and link them below for, um, you know, DIY cleaning solution options and just things like, you know, home decor options. And as much as I know home decor is not a need, you know, and I, I need to limit that spending and limit to, you know, what I'm going to be doing. I found some really great, you know, free or very low cost solutions that I've been trying to work on. And they also are good for, um, no, I don't want to say like a time, <laughs> say, what's the word I want to say? Um, is it like an activity um, versus going out to dinner or going out with, you know, friends, which I don't even have the time to do. I was looking for, you know, things that I could do that would be kind of a fun project or fun entertainment for me that would also be productive. And, you know, some of the things that I've been, you know, working on are like scrapbooking, even though, yes, that can get very um, costly um, if you let it but I had previously had quite a bit of stash because I was a overspender um, but I found some you know things that are like pretty low cost and you know I can get things on sale type of a uh, solution so those are the things that I, instead of shopping constantly or you know racking up credit card debt or doing things that were just counter counterproductive for the root frugal living I have been doing things that are good in those ways that help us to save because I'm not spending money on entertainment purposes. And as far as, you know, doing things with my son, honestly, um, I've been gotten really good and I'm pretty frugal about, you know, shopping for, like I said, I'm a thrift store shopper. You know, I shop for our clothes, I shop for his toys, and it's not just him. I do it for the entire family except with the exception of my husband's clothes. He's very picky. Um, I'm just really, I excel in that and I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but I want to make sure that he has, you know, we are saving money. Basically getting down to the bottom line, our goal. We want to be saving money to spend time with our family and not to spend on so much on material things and not to be so focused on we have the best of the best of the best because I really don't care about that. I, all I care about is that, not all, but the things that I really, really care about are living simply and 
one day maybe I want to completely eliminate all the junk I have and move in a tiny house. Or maybe one day I want to live off the grid. I mean, that's something that's like a way far-fetched dream of mine. I, I mean, but it's something that, you know, it's achievable, but it's a step-by-step -step process. Anyway, I'm kind of getting way off track here, but coming back to it, there's things that I have been doing really well on, like I said, you know, eliminating, eliminating debt and trying to keep that to a minimum, but there's things that I really need to get back on track with meal planning and, you know, eliminating a ton of extra spending, but still finding a good balance. Um, you know, those are the main things that I think I need to work on and that's kind of where I'm at. I am going to be posting some videos on, um, you know, grocery haul shopping and, you know, where I've been, you know, saving the money most and kind of comparing things. Um, I already filmed something that I kind of want to create as a bigger video with some, like I said, comparison shopping because I do most of my shopping at, you know, several, three different stores. And I also have some like meal planning ideas for toddlers coming up. I have that in the works and I have other ideas, but that's what I'm going to promise for now. <laughs> so I, if you've made it through, I really appreciate it. Again, um, you know, if I can be helpful to you, great. And if you can be helpful to me, that's really great. And, you know, feel free to leave a comment below through your constructive criticism or your advice. That'd be great. So thanks, guys. Bye.